A Birmingham artist with El Paso Ties is hoping to spark conversations about mass shootings through an upcoming exhibit. CBS 42's Michael Clark joins us tonight with that story. Michael. Larry Thompson is an art professor at Samford, but he grew up in El Paso, Texas. And for the past few months, he's been working with nonprofit group Space 111 on an art exhibit about mass shootings across the country, a project that now hits very close to home. Every stroke of Larry Thompson's paintbrush has a purpose. I went to bed thinking of El Paso and woke up thinking of Dayton, Ohio. El Paso and Dayton will be the two latest cities written down on squares for Thompson's calendar of mass shootings across the country. He has 250 of them as of today. So far in 2019, um, all but three Sundays have had a mass shooting. Thompson's finished product will feature a wall of squares, one for each day this year, dark colors for days with mass shootings, light for days of peace. So far, dark squares outnumber the light ones. We want to promote a conversation because we don't seem to be able to talk about this. Um, you know, something happens, we hear that it's too soon to talk about it. Images from this past weekend shooting in El Paso are especially disturbing for Thompson, who spent his first 18 years in the border city. In that moment, everything stopped, and all you can think of is reaching out to different people and making sure they're okay. Thompson hopes his art will show the tragedies can happen anywhere. It happened in my hometown. It happened in a Walmart that I've been in countless times and my parents have been in countless times. And while Thompson's friends are OK, he knows other families are torn apart. He wants to see a change and hopes his art inspires a conversation beyond thoughts and prayers. That slogan also has just lost its meaning because we say it every time. And I think what's missing is the action that should follow. And that exhibit will be on display at the Birmingham Art Walk that begins on September 6th. The following week, artists from across the country will come to Birmingham to display similar exhibits on shootings. We'll have details online. In the studio tonight, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Michael, thank you.